guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be doing something, I, I don't want this to be super controversial, but it's something I've been thinking about for a long time, and I'm just kinda like, what the fuck? Like, what's going on? <laughs> Why is this stuff still on Sephora's website? And the reason that I'm making this is because I was doing a little bit of research. I was gonna do like a products I'm not surprised are on sale at Sephora video, and when I went through the freaking website, when I went through the sale page, these products are still on there. They're still on there. And these are products that when I first made this video, the first time I made it, they were on there then. And they were on there before I made that video uh, and how I even got the idea for that video. These products have been on the sale page for a really long time. And uh, I just feel like it's too long. Like I think it's been too long. I don't know why they're still selling them. I think there becomes a time where it's like, all right, it's been three years. <laughs> it's been three and a half years. Time to take it off. I don't know what you need to do with it, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like it's okay. Okay. You let me know what your thoughts are. I know that these are unopened products. Let's just get into it. So if you go to the Sephora sale page, there are tons of different products. They're moving things in and out all of the time, but there are some staples on there that they just stick around, man. They're not leaving. I, I don't know what's going on. And specifically, there's like two things that really are what's catching my eye the most. And the first one are any of the products that are cream or like liquid based. And they're from the Mara Hoffman for Sephora collection. They have a kaleidoscope tinted lip balm. They have a natural oil balm in there. They have a cheek trio of products. It's like a highlighter, kind of like a bronzer and a blush. Again, all of these products are like cream or wax like they're not powder products and it's been a long time so I decided like it was I was like oh my god they're still there when I'm like looking through I'm like how can these products still be on the website I don't it just feels too long like it feels way too long so I decided to look up when the Mara Hoffman collection came out because I'm like when did this come out when was this made because I don't even remember this being made so I went to good old Google <laughs> I, I decided to Google it and on here, I see a thing from Pop Sugar, and it's like, see the Bohemian Chic Sephora and Mara Hoffman collab before it hits stores. And this was written May 28th, 2016. We're in July, what? It's like July 15th almost of 2019. 2019. So that is three years old since it launched. I don't know when this was actually like created. And again, I know that these products are not opened yet. So a lot of times, you know, things will be on the shelf and obviously people aren't gonna get to them right away. Maybe they buy them six months later, or even a year later or whatever, but three years later, that's just, it's, it's getting old. It's getting old. Like when I think about it, it's like, it was a freshman, it's, go, it's moving into <laughs> senior year, it's about to go to college, we need to say goodbye to it, right? And, and the reason that I'm saying this is just because obviously it hasn't been opened, hasn't been contaminated, air hasn't touched it, and if it's been stored in you know, a cool damp place, it might still be potentially good. But when it comes to creams and liquids, these are formulas that tend to go bad quite fast and um, more fast than something like a powder. And if someone's going to buy this product, although they are getting it on a sale, it's like, how long is that gonna last them once they do open, formulas become unstable. Like these are consumable products that go bad. That, you know, it, again, especially because they are creams. I don't know why they're still on the website, honestly. And this was also, I was also triggered um, to make this video and just talk about it. I just wanna know your guys' opinions and you know, maybe I'm more on the like safe side being a makeup artist. It's like, I don't wanna use old product on clients. I don't wanna risk putting on makeup that's too old on someone, especially when I'm working with clients and skin is their literal job. Like if I'm working with someone who is an actor, their body is the tool that they need for their job. It is my responsibility to make sure that I'm not going to be using product that's going to break them out or give them an infection or do anything that's going to hurt the tool that they have to do their craft. And so, Maybe I am more on the, you know, safe side when it comes to products. And I just think these are just so, so old. The other product that really has like sparked this for me is the Sephora and Pantone Universe Correct and Conceal Palette. Um, there are two shades of this. The reason that this is on this lip, like the reason I'm talking about this is because I remember wanting to get this palette. I thought that, oh wow, it has like, I can get the light one, I can get the dark one, I can put it in my kit. And I know that if I had bought that when I bought it, and I had it today, 
I would be like, oh, I need to get rid of it. It's getting too old. And it's still on the shelves. I could still go purchase it. And I doubt, I mean, I don't have specific information telling me that this isn't true, but these items are on the sale site. These are not being recreated and, you know, continuing to be produced. They're trying to get rid of the stock that they do have of them. They're not making that collaboration set anymore and replacing the stuff that's sold and keeping it at the sale price. Like they're trying to offload product that they cannot sell. And obviously it's not, freaking selling because it's been on the freaking site for forever like years and years it's been on clearance it's crazy i decided to also look up this product and try to get at least an idea of when i think that this was you know created and when i googled it i saw reviews that were of this product at the time when it had come out uh, and i had some reviews there were things as early as February of 2016, some in March, some in July of 2016. So that's when this product like hit the stores. Again, that's three and a half years ago for a cream palette. I know that this product is half off. It originally was like $50 and now it's only 25 or it's, you know, half off the original price. But $25 for a product that's already been sitting on the shelves for three and a half years. You know, especially a product like this that there's no way someone could use this up at one time and I feel like this product is also marketed to to people who are going to be working on multiple different skin tones. And I don't, I would not feel comfortable having this in my kit. It, knowing, I know how long it's been on there because it's such a distinguished product. And this kind of goes into, I wonder how long some of this stuff has been on the shelves in Sephora. I can tell that this Mara Hoffman collection has been on the shelves for a long time because I can look at an exact date when it came out and I know it's not being produced anymore or I'm, 99% sure it's not being produced anymore. Whereas other cream and liquid products, they are staple products in a line or permanent products. I don't know how long they've been sitting in the shelves. And that's also something that's made me like, whoa, how long, how long is it normal for something to sit on a shelf before someone actually buys it and then uses it for who knows how long they're gonna use it before they actually throw it away. So I decided to just do a very preliminary kind of look as to what's normal. And again, we have another pop sugar, so. <laughs> <laughs> the reporting on this is very top-notch. I still wanted to see kind of like what's an average or what are some people saying, you know? And on here, it's talking about lipstick and lip gloss, three years. When sealed, the expiration periods for lip gloss and lipstick are quite long as they typically contain uh, super formulas, but that's still at three years. That's where we're at. Why is it still on the website? Like, when is it going to be taken off? It is at the three year mark. It is going past more and more. They're just gonna sell it until it literally sells out. Like, sometimes I think there has to be a loss. And I think that there's another issue of like, I know a lot of things, at least in the States, there are not expiration dates actually listed on products. Like you can maybe find a batch code and see when it was created. Um, if it's a sunscreen, it might have an expiration date of like when that sunscreen expires and isn't going to work for you anymore, maybe on some skincare products. But when it comes to actual cosmetics, I, I almost never see things that say this expires at this time, even if you don't open it. Like even if it stays unopened on the shelf like never touches air this still expires at this time and so i wonder how that influences how companies like sephora or any of these retailers especially now that makeup is such a huge thing how long do they keep things on the shelf? Does anyone even know? Does anyone even know how long some of this stuff has been there? And if there isn't an expiration date like that, if you know of like specific products that do have it that aren't what I mentioned, I'd love to know down below, but I would love for us to have that. I think just having the knowledge, if you are comfortable using a product that has been sitting on a shelf for four years and you still wanna purchase it either at full price or if you wanna buy it half price, I think then at least you have the knowledge. At least you have the knowledge to be like, okay, I'm okay with that. Oh, as long as it doesn't smell funky or isn't separated, I'm cool. But not knowing is something that sits kind of wrong with me. And although the sale section, and I talk about this in my products, I'm not surprised you're on sale video. If you're buying something on sale, there's a chance that it didn't sell normally and that's why it's there. And who knows how long or how old it is. When you look at makeup at TJ Maxx, when you look at makeup at Marshalls, you don't know how long those products have been out there. Um, if they've been discontinued for a long time, it's just a little bit more of a risk and you can make whatever choice you want to. I'm not trying to put that down. I'm not saying I would never buy makeup from Marshalls. I'm just saying I wish there was more transparency. I wish there was a way that we could know this. And on the website, if you were someone who doesn't stock the Sephora website, who doesn't stock the sales section, would you know that that Mara Hoffman 
collection's been on there for forever and that the product that you're getting is definitely not at its freshest, if not potentially already expired. I just really, I don't know, it just doesn't sit right with me. It's something that literally has nagged on me every time I've made the Sephora videos because they're always there. They're always still there. Even the House of Lashes, like palettes, and they also have some like eyeliners, the palettes, again, powder products, they can last a little bit longer because they're not wet. They aren't like as much of a breeding ground for bacteria. The liquid eyeliners, I bought those and they sucked when I bought them and I bought them on sale after a long time and they're still on there and you can still buy them. It's just, it's not good. On here it says for eyeliner, 10 to 12 months. Eyeliner can last up to about a year when it's sealed, but at that point you may notice it's become dry and not as smooth to apply. And that's the thing, even if we're like eliminating the health concerns Concern, potential I think that it's like these products just don't work as well anymore I wish I just I really wish they didn't sell them and this is also kind of I think on the coattails of everyone freaking out about Jaclyn Hill lipsticks and I don't want to get into it because it's a lot to unpack we all know there's a million videos you can go watch it and get your opinions but one of the big things was that people thought this was old expired product and were freaking out about how hazardous it could be and you know I think it's come out that you know that isn't obviously there are way more issues with uh, some people's lipsticks but I think we've all come to the conclusion that these are not old lipsticks they were just poorly 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 executed at best and so I'm sitting here being like everyone's freaking out about this when these are like this tinted balm if you buy this it is it is three years old like it actually is that old yeah, you're getting it on sale, but it's not like it comes with the disclaimer. It's not like it tells you. So that's just kind of what this video is. I'm kind of just like wondering why these products are still available. There's a lot of other products too. Even the Sephora Pro Dimensional Highlighting Palette, that's another cream palette. I feel like I've seen on there for forever. And I'm just kind of wondering like, when is the Pantone Universe Correct and Conceal Palette not gonna be available on the site anymore? Not because you don't have any more of them, but because it's just too far past to sell to people. Especially because that product is catered toward people who are probably pros, but you know, they must not be getting a discount at pro stores where they could actually be getting other product for a discount. Instead, they're trying to like put their kit together as cheaply as possible. And if they stumble upon this, it might be something that they think. And it's like, you know, it's old product. This is old, this is very old. And it's something I think we're definitely gonna see more of now that makeup is such a huge, I mean, it's just exploded. And there's no way that we can all consume so much of this makeup. So what happens to all that dead stock? This was before it was at the height that it is now. I can only imagine what all this dead stock, like it's just gonna be a lot of expired makeup going on. So I really wonder how long it will <laughs> it will take for this palette. I will definitely be on the lookout to see how long it takes for them to get rid of this palette off their site and to stop selling it. Even then it'll probably just end up at a Marshalls because they'll probably just sell the stock to them. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> the video. I'd love to know your thoughts. I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad about buying sale makeup. It's not about that. I just truly feel concerned about these specific products because I've I've seen it. I can I know that like that collection has been there. I personally would not feel comfortable buying it. Um, but again, I'd love to know your thoughts. Please be respectful, I'd appreciate it. But yeah, um, what's up with it? What's up Sephora? Why are you still carrying this? Can you just take them off? Just take them off and cut the losses. My gosh, that's it. That's all you have to do. Anyway, I will continue to like, it just baffles. It, there are no answers. So I'm just like, what, 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 what? Well, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.